When you read the Bible, do you ever assume that it's an exceptional book filled with exceptional people doing exceptional things and therefore conclude because you don't feel exceptional that their experience is foreign to you or impossible for you to attain? Many people do. In fact, we all do from time to time. And prayer is one of those exceptional things. We, we hear people talk about prayer. We read about great heroes of the faith who prayed. And yet, often we feel like our prayer experience falls short or doesn't get very far. In that verse, James points to an Old Testament prophet named Elijah. And he points to Elijah's experience. And now we're talking about the Elijah, by the way, who called down fire from heaven, who prayed that there would be no rain and it didn't rain for three and a half years. And at the end of three and a half years, he prayed again and it did rain. So here's a Old Testament prophet with a long list of miracles behind him. And James points to Elijah, but he does so not in an exceptional way, but in a normative way, teaching us that Elijah's experience was a normal Christian or an ordinary Christian experience. Now, most of us would say, well, we would resist that. We would think that's not possible for us. However, consider this. Elijah's strength was not an Elijah. Elijah was not necessarily an exceptional person. In fact, he got discouraged like we do. He got angry like we do. What made Elijah exceptional was not Elijah, but Elijah's God. It wasn't Elijah's prayers that were mighty. It was who Elijah prayed to that were mighty. Over the next 40 days, we're partnering with Alpine Church and PursueGod.org on a journey into prayer. We're going to make available a prayer calendar that's linked each day to a devotional video to help guide you in that prayer season. Some of you, we're hoping, will want to host a prayer gathering either in your home or at the Young and Heart Center. It's simple. We'll just gather for prayer. We'll use the acronym of PRAY, which means praise, repent, ask, and yield. And as we pray together, we know we're going to become stronger as a body of believers at Ordinary Faith, stronger as families, because we're going to pray for husbands and wives and children and extended family, and stronger as individuals. And the strength of a body, of a family, and of individuals is going to bless this community because we're going to pray for it too. So please consider joining us on this journey of prayer, 40 days of prayer. And then we'd like to ask you also to share your experiences, your prayers, maybe even some photographs of some blessings or some blessed people in your lives and hashtag those pray 40, hashtag pray 40. If you do that, we could all enjoy your experience and share those together. So please take this journey with us. And those of you who can't, we realize that not everyone can do this. And we understand. But for those of you who do, we're so grateful. Prayer is the most powerful thing that we could do as a church and as a body. So thanks for taking the trip with us. God bless. Mm -hmm.